Uh, hi everyone, welcome to Ternoa TV. So it's our first live stream. So it will be a series of video where we will uh, break down all the stuff about Ternoa. We'll go through the partnerships, announcement, uh, you know, we we'll also introduce some Ternoa members and talk more like deep, down, deep dive in the, in the project. And yeah, so I'm Nicolas, I'm CMO of Ternoa. And I'm Margo, I'm Ternoa's marketing executive. And um, yeah, well, thanks for the intro. We'll kind of dive right into today because we have a lot to cover. It'll be a really exciting episode. Um, and we're just really excited to start this series. Uh, I think, uh, oh, also something that I mentioned that you guys probably couldn't hear was uh, we're gonna have a CAPS giveaway at the end. So make sure that you stay tuned for that and stay- uh, Stay connected yeah. until the end. <laughs> Um, so today we will be having Fabien Cano. He's uh, the head of business development for Ternoa and he's going to be joining in on the live today uh, to talk about all the exciting partnerships that have been going on with Ternoa and um, also about the Ternoa grant program, which if you're not familiar, we have launched a Ternoa grant program which will help fund um, any exciting use cases that the community has come up with for uh, the Ternoa blockchain. As you know, there's an unlimited amount of use cases for our technology. So we're, we're just excited to see what everyone can come up with. Yeah, and also, as we mentioned, this is the first live. Uh, so there might be some quirks or yeah. some technical <laughs> problems. So just, you know. We're yeah. not professionals. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> not yet. We're getting there. <laughs> but um, yeah, so, uh, and feel free to comment down below or in the comments if you have any questions or anything. We'll keep checking throughout the live. Um, but I think maybe let's let's get started. We'll have a few different segments um, in the live series that we'll try and stick to each episode. Um, and it'll be, for now we're thinking a monthly series. Um, and we'll basically do a segment where we break down the news and then we'll have a special guest, like today is Fabian. Um, and then next we like to talk more about the Tanoa life. So we'll maybe highlight uh, a Tom Tanoa coworker or um, kind of what's going on in the background of the project and yeah yeah so if you want to so just checking the chat the quickly hello everyone <laughs> yeah, thanks for thanks. tuning in good yeah cool hi to everyone thanks for your messages uh, so in case if there's some uh, new members or some people who don't really know about the project I think it's good to give a quick like uh, recap or introduction about the project so basically Terno is a layer one blockchain dedicated to secure uh, data encryption and trans transmissions through the use of nfts and sending protocols and thanks to this unique technology uh, Terno offers users a full control over their private data uh, the sending protocols allow for long-term storage as well as uh, triggering data transmission at any time, even after like a user's death. And uh, all this with a maximum security and no intermediaries. Um, of course, this can be used not only for general public to store like uh, data, uh, you know, like uh, wallet keys, uh, video, like uh, family pictures and so on, but also uh, could be used for dApps or like in B2B or also for government and institutions. Yeah, and the project is only a year old and we already have over 100,000 supporters all over the world. We've made over 50 different international partnerships with key opinion leaders, venture capitals, companies, um, companies making use cases with our technology. So it's really exciting to see this project develop so fast. Um, and actually to kind of give an update on where the blockchain is at the moment, uh, we were on our chaos net where basically our developers create as much of the technology as we can to launch the blockchain. And then there's the second step, which is testnet, which is where we are now. Um, and if you want, you can kind of go more to testnet. Yeah, so basically we launched a testnet in October and uh, the aim with the testnet is to allow users to test uh, features and, uh, you know, uh, have more users testing uh, the Terma wallet launching nodes, uh, launching their own marketplaces and so on. And uh, so the next uh, phase of the testnet would be the sending protocols where users will be able to not only mint NFTs from their phone, but also like uh, user protocols to, to transmit them. 
And that's going to be the really exciting part, I feel yeah. like. I think the, the meeting from the phone has already got a lot of people excited, as yeah. you posted this morning about the number of... Uh, yeah, there, there's been over over 60,000 NFTs that have been already minted on on our blockchain. It's only been a month, so it's yeah. pretty crazy yeah. how... So I think sending protocols would be the next level, yeah. and uh, hopefully we'll get that soon. Yeah. We don't have, uh, we cannot say like exactly when it will come, but this is definitely the next big thing. The team is working hard on that. Yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, so um, as you all know, the use cases for the te this all this technology is very. <laughs> sorry, I'm getting distracted with the comments here. Um, but the, <laughs> the use cases for our technology are unlimited. Um, we, of course, have our time capsules, which people know about with, you know, the different sending protocols, like the death protocol and so on, where you can send data post-mortem to your family. Um, but we also are so excited to see what other people think that they can do with our technology. I mean, it's not just up to us to create uh, the dApps and different uh, POCs. So it's... We really wanted to take that to the next level and see what our community can come up with. This is why we launched the Tenola Grant Program. Um, and this is also why we think it would be important that Fabian comes on and kind of explains a little bit about that. And also, um, since we launched it about a month ago, we already have had some projects come to us and um, with their ideas, and we've selected a few. Uh, he'll kind of explain more about um, how that process will work. So let's maybe get into that call. Um, hello everyone, I'm uh, really happy to be there um, to update you, our community, about the partnerships and the grant program. Oh yeah, it's good. It's good. Um, yeah, no, awesome. Sorry guys, we were just making sure that we could see him. <laughs> and also, yes, we're all sporting to Noah, of course, have to. Which ones? Uh, sorry, uh, Fabian, if you're, we're looking at the comments. <laughs> But um, yeah, so if you don't mind, do you mind kind of going into um, what you do at Ternoa, just so people can have more of a background on you and, you know, just go into the partnerships maybe? Okay. Uh, yeah, of course. As you said, I'm the head of Ternoa's business um, development. With my team, our main goal is to grow the Ternoa ecosystem and, for example, with uh, blockchain partnerships as NFT bridges already announced with Solana, Elrond, Polygon, etc. We work um, also with institutional users as the notaries in France who will use our time capsule to transmit uh, digital patrimony or enough the big mass market announcement about our strong relation and partnerships with the uh, MMA factory and uh, for that, stay tuned, surprises are coming. But basically, uh, we have to get in our minds that Ternoa proposed huge innovation in blockchain and more specifically in the NFT side by the blockchain interoperability to be open to other ecosystems by, of course, Secret NFT, one of the Ternoa, uh, the Ternoa sorry, major innovation and um, all of that in a, in a fully decentralized and open source ecosystem. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, it, it really is amazing. Like the, just how vast the opportunities are. And um, I mean, everyone needs a secure place to store their data and a secure way to transmit it. Um, I mean, I feel like that's something today that's really hard for people to, there's not many solutions out there, especially for the long term, so. And um, do you mind kind of going more into like maybe what what were the most impactful partnerships that have been created so far with Tanoa? Um Yes. First of all, blockchain partnerships are absolutely necessary to open our ecosystem. We work hard on it and the impact is um, quite crucial for us. So. And in, in, in another side, uh, institutional ones, as notaries too, are in progress uh, on the front development side for use cases and mass market use cases and several others. But 
we are a little bit too early to speak about that uh, today. Yeah. A little more questions, if you please. But uh, you, you can't give us any little it details. It will be cool. No, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, cool. Well, thank you. Um, and uh, do you do you have any questions that you want to ask? Or? Uh, I have a question, but I don't think I can reply. You know, you need to keep secret. We, we need <laughs> to keep some announcement for the for the communication for it. So you know. For Twitter. <laughs> no, no. So it's good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so, what about the like the MMA factory and everything? With I mean, is that something else that we? No, I think, uh, yeah, if you, you can give us more details about the uh, MMA yeah. factory. Or even if, like, the community hasn't heard too much about it. Um. Yes. Um, more of uh, details, you know, there is um, actually, uh, um, uh, for the context, uh, an uh, NFT crazy hype today all around the world. And that's cool for us, for everyone. And we can say the, the opposite. But that's that is not enough for us um, follow me if you give a utility to your nft on the turnover chain okay with digital content feelings emotion you've got the power to make it alive with a turnover augmented nft this is our promise and to answer you m factory is the one of the first general public marketplace project to feel it and believe it and we are so proud to collaborate with them. And um, there, is be, there, there will be uh, inside NFT some um, features or giveaway, very interesting and, and um, um, can be um, newest on this uh, ecosystem. So um, we work on Turnwag Mounted NFTs today. Yeah, with good. Uh, I don't want to leak any information, but I can tell you if you like the the communication around MMA factory, like something, uh, we continue working with them and something is coming in the next few weeks. So, you know. That's exciting. I, yeah. have not, I didn't even know. <laughs> That's going to be really cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. And yeah. it's also really cool to see like another example of, I mean, the fact that, yes, we have, we offer encrypted NFTs, but the fact that you can put something in them, something special, something. Yeah, because it's not just like NFTs, like just art, yeah. like just JPEG. Uh, Which is really, already great. Yeah, but this is really like, you know. there's really like a utilities and like you said, there's yeah. so many use cases. Mm. So this is why we can, you know, uh, it's not only for one industry, but for like, you know, possibilities are infinite. So. Yeah. And I think it's also um, the fact that we see these concrete examples really helps the community really envision the potentials that our, our technology can offer. I think this is why our project is different from many others is because we started with uh, use cases, with a product, or with a vision, and then we build the technologies around it first. So Yeah. 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 We have a talented uh, group of developers, <laughs> that's for sure, <laughs> making all of our, our dreams come true, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, speaking of use cases, uh, I think it would be really interested to go interesting to go into the grant program and talk more about the community, the our developer community's ideas on what we can do with the Turnover blockchain. So, do you mind kind of going into um, a little bit more about the grant program and uh, what the process will be for that? Okay, for sure. A um, few days ago, we decided to launch our first session of this Ternoa Grant Program. And first of all, we thank um, all of the close 30 first players on it. So, so that, that's um, kind yeah, of the first number. success yeah. for that. Yes, uh, in just one week. So that's pretty cool. And um, the Ternoa Grant program is focused on our main goal, you know, uh, that is to increase the use of the Ternoa chain, to uh, write on it uh, some trend, etc. And that is um, a good news for everyone, for our technology deployment, and of course, for the CAPS holder and the CAPS value. Um, through this grant program, we are going to help projects promoters to realize their dreams, as I said uh, just right now, Margot, 
and to ma make um, their uh, ideas come true. Okay. And those um, that you will vote for, yeah. uh, our community, will receive um, $6,000 to work on it on the next uh, month. Yeah, pretty cool. And, and will be advised by the Ternuas co-founders themselves awesome. during these months. So, and finally, they will have to pitch it uh, to you in one month here uh, on the Ternua TV. I think I will be excited to see from the beginning and to see in one month what they, they will be able to accomplish mm. with the with the grant, so the six thousand dollars, and with the help of like uh, our team. It will be really interesting to see. Like, yeah, I'm also that. interested to see what the community will choose. Ah. Um, it, <laughs> I mean, I think it's already great that we're seeing what the community's ideas are, and then it's also up to you guys to to decide on who will be making it to yeah and to i think like out. fabian said one important thing is those projects they will bring more uh they, they will bring more transaction to the blockchain to tenor's blockchain and they will be also help us to uh expand uh you know the tenor's uh, ecosystem yeah. which will be good for also for the uh, for the caps and for the project itself so yeah Oh, we're starting to get, sorry, we're getting cool. a few questions about like what language um, is can Turno Adapt be developed in. And we actually have a Discord channel um, dedicated to these kinds of questions. So maybe join us on there. Yeah. Our yeah. developers can talk to you uh, directly and, and help you with that. Just wanted to mention. But um, yeah, should we, uh, should we get into the, let's see. Um, yeah, we, we talked about the process and everything. Should yeah. we get into presenting the, yeah, the, the selected uh, projects? Let's go to the meat of the... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to see these. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. The slide. Let's see if it's showing up on the screen. Yep. You can cool. This is cool. This is sorry. This is this would be cool. Um, I never even thought of like needing some like some. I mean, certifying whiskey is, as any product is really important. So it's a cool idea. All right, and just a quick thing for everyone: make sure that you pay attention because uh, at in the next few days, we, these are some of the projects that you can vote for. Uh, if if you think that one of these projects is worth the Chinoa grant. So pay attention, see if the, any one of them interests you. Um, yeah. But yeah, sorry, Con continue, mm. Fabian. Uh, so oh, I think the uh, community has read the, 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 the pitch of Tipple Network, and we believe that's a, a pretty cool idea. Yes, of course, as, as you said, we have a um, pretty good team and um, uh, um, a single idea, an original idea, because there is no direct uh, competition, and um, and uh, like. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You hear me? No, no, you hear yeah, me? no worries. Sorry. Cool. Maybe we can. Okay. I haven't. I. Okay, so that was a typical network we preselected for for you. Tell us, uh, what do you think I about? I think it's cool. No, sounds good idea. Do, do you drink whiskey yourself? <laughs> or maybe, <it's> <laughs> <laughs> maybe not the best topic to, no. to discuss here. Um, <laughs> but I think it's a great <laughs> idea, especially because it's something that's 
enjoyed internationally. Yeah. Um, so it can, you know. Uh, oh, there's another one. The another one, yes. Which one named gluing proposed by Enart Loic. Um, the, this project uh, aims to create a DAP that allow anyone to create a fabulous NFT from a photo or a pic, then selecting a template created by an artist. So it's an um, original ID too. The NFT thus uh, generated can be sent as a souvenir to a friend, sold uh, and exchanged, and many other uses. Um, they, they, they've got a short team of three peoples, um, and they've got, um, um, sorry, uh, competence, competencies, and um, very, they are very uh, motivated. The, the, the play was, uh, was good, and we believe that uh, this kind of project uh, could be um, cool on the turnover chain with our uh, features in our yeah, NFTs, I mean, secret NFTs. I mean we already are allowing people to create their own NFT marketplaces. So this could be like, um, I'm addition. yeah, another like feature yeah, that can be added. Feature. It's yeah. really cool. What do the people in the comments think about this one? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's move to the next one. Bonjour. Cool. Next one um, is in a, another universe named Alfe Eki is a French project bring by uh, Priscilla Cliché. Um, this project is a um, in, in, institutional, you know, uh, because it's aimed to create an international monitoring and traceability um, standard for equines with NFT and augmented NFT maybe um, in the future um, by assigning simply an NFT to each horse Alfe um, Eki centralizes all its personal information, veterinary report, breeder information, sales, retraining throughout uh, his life. So um, uh, you can follow your horse uh, <laughs> since born to die with all the, I think the this, this insights. Really so it, show it how could far, be a, like, uh, a use case. Can yeah. <laughs> I mean, I never would have thought of like attaching an mm. NFT to your horse. Um, and it's it's true. It's it's something that that's really really useful. I think. I think this is why this section is great because you have so many different use cases. Mm -hmm. You know, you have the, the normal, not normal, but these NFTs, the and then there's like more like uh, whiskeys to horses, yeah. and you know. Well, I think also the fact that like a lot of people don't realize that mm -hmm. this technology can be used in so many ways in yeah. just general life, not just if you're in the crypto blockchain. Yeah, world, yeah sure. It can be with anything, even with Cement, the partnership that we mm -hmm. did. Um, it's a real estate company, and they were they're using our technology to be able to keep minute notes for their meetings with their co-owners and everything. Mm. So, I mean, there's so many different ways that it can be used. It's really cool. Yep. Uh, okay, let's go to the last one. Go to the last one. Let's see. Oh, this one's cool. Yeah. They're all cool, but... Yeah, they're all... We, sorry. We need to be, need to be <laughs> fair. Yeah. <laughs> The universe, yes, which one is named Crypto DJs, as you can see, bring by Fabrice. Um, he proposed to make a um, unique NFT collection of pixelated works reflecting the, the most exciting parties and concerts um, uh, on VR experienced. Um, there is cool features maybe inside. Uh, he has to work on it, but we think um, make collectible as NFT, um, uh, buy or can buy them all and play with um, exclusive songs representing maybe DJs or international DJs could be um, a cool gamification in the NFT world, NFT music world, sorry. And um, in the team, there is a, an extensive background in the music industry. So we can believe uh, that um, this project um, could be um, um, really, really cool, um, but we have to uh, work on it. Um, there is no direct competition. It's new too, uh, except for bootleg or um, low quality videos of, of the events, but 
Um, this is a, another ID in the music merging with NFT uh, and secret NFT with Ternoa. So um, crypto DJs, another universe we, we submit you uh, in these four, uh, four projects. Okay, cool. Uh, so like we said uh, at the introduction about the grant, uh, be sure to vote for the project and also um, you know the project need to be sure that about the utility of the project about the transaction uh, numbers they can have also about the uh, let's say we are talking about alcohol it can be like from many different countries or like not only tied up to alcohol and so on so those concepts can go really far so be sure to make the good choice yeah <laughs> um, and also yeah so uh, mm. we will open a uh, poll on telegram and discount to vote so please uh, do not forget to vote and uh, yeah uh, thanks so much Fabian for for joining today and for your explanation about the grant and you know also for presenting uh, for the partnerships yeah and the partnerships and that stuff was cool. yeah and uh, yeah, so the, you know, if you have any other ideas, uh, well, I'm not sure what was that. But <laughs> if you have any other ideas, uh, please be sure to uh, submit your ID because uh, we closed the round one, but we are always interested to learn more. Uh, yeah, there, yeah, you can continue to submit ideas. Um, if you go onto our website, tenora.com, there's a, te uh, there's a, a grant slide at the bottom of the page yeah. that you can submit your ideas to and it's also all over our social media so yeah. I'm sure you'll be able to find it um, but yeah we're, we're just so excited to see all all the other ideas I mean, this is already a great selection so um, it'll be really cool but just make sure that you vote for your favorite project so far um, the polls will be opening up after the live on our telegram and discord channel um, which should be shown above or um, it's also linked on our website and our social media, so I'm sure you'll be able to find it. Um, and the vote will be going, uh, I mean, because we have multiple rounds going on, I think there's no deadline yet. Uh, for the vote, it will be quite quick. Okay, uh, So be sure to vote. If, you have, uh, if you're interested into any of those projects, be sure to vote quite quickly to be sure that your project is uh, get selected. Yeah, yeah, the one that you want. Yeah. 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 Um, and also, again, if you have any of your own ideas, make sure that you uh, go and check out our grant tab on our website, tonoa.com. You'll be able to, um, to submit your idea. And we can't wait to see more. There was already a great selection, so it'll be good. And yeah, okay. Um, I think we can move on to our next segment, unless anyone has any questions. Um, let's, let's check, check. quickly. Okay. Okay. Did um, anyone? You get so many comments, yeah. like uh, positive on you. You're lucky. <laughs> I know. One guy said, "Like I have love. like nice turn, like mark." <laughs> <laughs> it's well, okay. Thank you I'm guys not. for the support. I really appreciate it. <laughs> um, on which channel? Um, uh, so it will be yeah. on our Telegram and Discord channel to vote for uh, the the uh, project that you like the most out of those four that we presented. Ah. Um, Thanks, guys. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's move on to our next segment. Uh, and again, continue to ask questions if you have any. Uh, we'll be yeah, checking. maybe what we should have said uh, yeah. regarding, regarding the grant is the selected project will have one month. Uh, so we, we talked briefly about that, but basically they will have one month to prepare their business plan, business model, uh, proof of concept, and also light paper. They will have. And in one month, they will come back to the show and present this. They will pitch this to you and they will have to convince you, uh, you know. So this will be like really interesting yeah. to see what they, they can come with. And and yes, there, so as we mentioned, this is round one, um, but there will be multiple rounds of selected projects. So you can keep um, submitting ideas if you have any and or keep coming back to vote. Uh, like Nico said, it will be a quick vote. So. <laughs> Make sure to, to join in when you can. Um, but yeah, okay. Um, I think we can move on to what I'm, I think, I'm, I'm really excited anyway for this segment. It's, we like to call it the Chernobyl life. To 
give you guys a little bit of a background on the Tanoa team. Um, I mean, we have over 45 collaborators all over the world that work together every day to really put this project in motion and, and push it forward. So um, we want to highlight each unique worker. I mean, everyone has a great story. So uh, today we would like to bring on Kevin. You guys actually might know him. Um, he is one of our angels in our Telegram group, and he's also the community manager for our Spanish group. Um, so we'd like to bring him on and see see how he's doing. If Kevin, you can join. <laughs> I I messaged him. He should be up. Oh, oh there okay. he is. Yeah, he is. Awesome. Oh yeah. Uh, okay, he's not here. One sec. Oh, we got some some people from the Spanish community here, maybe. Oh. <laughs> Hello. One sec, Kev. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, we, we are. Can hear you, Kevin. But we have like a. We need to add you to the. Just a slight thing. For whatever reason. Where is Xavier? Xavier is coming back very soon. He just had to take a quick pause. Um, and let's see what else is going on in the comments. If you guys are wondering why we're looking down, our computers are down here <laughs> with all the, the comments and everything. So And also with Skype so we can see Fabian and Kevin. Um, so that's why we're, we're looking down here. But let's see. A lot of comments on Timmy. Do you guys have any questions while we're... <laughs> Um, I think that's Guillaume messaging about he about my Haute Savoie sticker. I have an Haute Savoie sticker on my computer because my family's from there. And uh, <laughs> I should make an NFT with that. Man, it's not <laughs> not connecting. Uh, um. um did you guys? How did you guys like the the project so far? Um, I think they were all really good, good options, and it'll just be exciting to see what else uh, can we go to the moon. <laughs> we will definitely have to try. <laughs> oh. Mm. Let's see. Wild the project. Um. The grant projects that we chose um, were selected by the Chinoa team. Um, everyone has their their own reasons. All the ideas were great, um, but some were more developed than others. We're really looking for projects that are ready to take on this step of receiving our support. So um, I feel like I hope the other projects don't take it personally. You know, it's it's just a. I mean, it's a selection. You it's know, a we selection. Are... We 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 only have limited spots, so. Uh, also, like to... uh, one thing is all those projects they apply, uh, they apply and they want basically they have a good concept and they want to build this on Tanoa. Uh, so you know, uh, we cannot have a. Unfortunately, we cannot do that for every project, but. Of course, we we are ready to support as much pos uh, as much project as possible. But yeah, exactly. We're... Okay, oh. I'm trying to have Kevin. Uh... Um, and I just saw a comment saying free NFT. Uh, you can mint your own NFT for free on Chernoa's testnet blockchain if you'd like to try that out. <laughs> just make sure you download Chernoa's wallet app um, and go to our website with the testnet tab and follow the instructions there. I'm Kevin. You're right. Good. Hello, Margot. Hello, Nico. Hello. Hi, everyone. How are you? <laughs> Good. I bring a little guest with me. Yeah. <laughs> Is Timmy there too? No? <laughs> yes, he's from Timmy's family. <laughs> so, how are you doing? Good. Good. Um, I'm having fun doing our first uh, stream, yeah. which is a real challenge. <laughs> uh, you're do, you're doing great. You're doing great so far. Thank yeah. you. Appreciate it. <laughs> so yeah, today we wanted to talk with Kevin, and we wanted to highlight 
you know, one of our LCR, so local uh, community representative and te Telegram community angels. Uh, I think many of you have to deal with him for questions, <laughs> technical support, uh, or many discussions, not only in Spanish, but also uh, on the French and English, English Telegram. So, yeah, first of all, can you introduce yourself? For in, people who don't yeah, sure. you already <laughs> yeah, introduced him. I would not ever say I would not no, no. but yeah. <laughs> So I'm Kevin, uh, I'm uh, French, I'm living in Barcelona for, for 14 years now, uh, with a little break of 3-4 years, I was living in Singapore. Um, I have a background in communication, graphic industries, I do a little bit of coding and, and so on, so it's like I'm doing a little bit of everything. And uh, I have quite a good relations also uh, with uh, customers, working with customers and so on. Uh, this is a little bit for my background and regarding uh, like, I don't know, hobbies, maybe when I don't work, I like to travel when it was still possible. Now we don't, we can't so much, but uh, traveling, taking pictures, learning about tech. I really love uh, learning about new techs and, and things coming on. And I don't know, thinking about what could be the word of, of tomorrow. Uh, this is something I like to, to spend. Yeah. Uh, and about maybe, I don't know if you want a little bit of background about crypto. Uh, I'm not the old guy in crypto, but I, I first heard about crypto maybe in like 2013 or 14. Uh, I heard about it, but without understanding what was. And then I discovered maybe the blockchain technology later on. And uh, and since that, I think I, I found it is very great to, to, to focus on projects that really have a usage. And this is something I really like in my personal, looking for projects that really solve the problem. And this is how I enter into the, the blockchain uh, yeah, cool. world. Let's see. And so, how do you how do you like working with Ternoa? I mean, you kind of went into that a little bit, but what what has been your experience so far working with us? <laughs> I guess the boss is listening. <laughs> I guess I have to say that. That's I like. okay. We just I just got, <laughs> we are only two of us. No worries. Okay, that's fine. Though. So no, so not joking. I mean. The team is really nice, uh, you know, some, some of, of them, them. but uh, not so long ago, we had the opportunity to meet all of them. So it was really great. It's nice to work with the team. And, you know, for me, I was working in a like traditional company, let's say, where things like takes time to move, where you have ideas, but they get lost in someone's desk. I don't know. It's quite frustrating. But now with Ternoa, for me, my feeling is that it's all the opposite. Of course, it's, it's a young company, it's dynamic. We're working on innovation. So I don't know. I really enjoy working in in that. Yeah, I think it's very interesting it's your incredible. background because you 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 are working for like you used to work for like a big really big group, and now you're in like a startup. We started mm -hmm. like uh, five people like uh, ten months ago, and now we are like about more than, more, we are more, more than, than 40, 45. 45. Yeah. So I think the pace is yeah really exactly different. yeah. We are like a very big in. stable company, <laughs> and we are like in you know like yeah. uh, mm -hmm. fast pace a startup. So. Uh, you're not talking about that. Is it? Do you feel something is challenging compared to like your previous experience? Um, challenging, I would say, is is more about like, like uh, the adaptation. Of course, you have to adapt quite quickly to a situation. Something that usually doesn't happen, maybe in more traditional uh, companies. Uh, where I've been working, but it's challenging. But I mean, I like it. I like challenges usually in, in life. But yeah, I would say is that the adaptation. You have to be quick. You have to adapt quite quickly to to new situation, to new things, mm -hmm. and learn new yeah. things all, every day. <laughs> Especially in crypto, this is something which is also new for most of people. We so we're learning of, every day, uh, and this is nice. That we shoot at you and the other angels pretty quickly, <laughs> uh, without a lot of notice, because like you said, <laughs> everything goes by really fast. So there's new opportunities that pop up out of nowhere, and we just have to go with it. And, yeah, um, you know. To keep on the topic of, exactly. uh, about that, like, uh, can you explain us? Uh, of course, I kind of mentioned what you are doing, but can you explain us your daily, daily task or uh, what you are doing exactly at Ternoa for those uh, who don't know yet? Don't know you yet. Sorry. Yeah, sure. So I mean, like, I, I think like many people in Ternoa, we are doing multitasking. But uh, I would say basically my job is to take care of community. Uh, with uh, the help of all the other angels and, and so team. 
So I'm one of the angels on the Telegram and Discord, as you mentioned. I'm also a support member, um, working on our customer service platform that we have with the tickets and so on. Um, another important task, I think, is also, which is not maybe seen by the community, but is to ensure like a, a communication and great communication with the dev and UX team and marketing to make sure that those teams really get the back from the, the people, from the user, from the ground. So this is something also that we are doing daily. And last but not least, uh, as you said, I'm the local community representative for Spanish uh, Ternoa, yeah, which I'm very proud great. of this community. And uh, so I'm managing social media, Telegram, and so on yeah, for, for that so community. How is the Spanish community going so far? They're doing well. They're doing quite well. I mean, it's still a small community for now, of course. But uh, we have a nice engagement, motivation uh, for the project. They really really hype by the idea of the time capsule and the secret NFT. And they really love the Timmy's NFT, of course, from the time engine. And I mean, for me, the community has a great potential because you know, there is like, I think, 21 countries that speak Spanish in the world. So far in the, ter in the Telegram group, we have like half of them, which are already represented. So we have people from Argentina, from Chile, from Cuba, from Mexico, from Spain, of course, uh, Venezuela. So, I mean, we have great potential for yeah, no, this community. It's, it's so and important we... to have a Spanish community, speaking community, because like you said, it's, it touches all over the world. And already we have English, we have French, very dominant <laughs> community. <laughs> and then now a Spanish, um, and we're also working uh, with Ming, with our Chinese community as and well, Turkish community. and Turkish community. So uh, I think we're we're really we're covering in the some right. you know some terrain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's, it's and, nice. Um, I we you also mentioned the seminar back um, uh, a few minutes ago, and I thought that was also a really cool way to show the community everyone getting together. That was actually our first time we all yeah, got together, that was good. and it was really cool. I think. It really put into perspective how many people we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we work within our team and we work with other people, but not all together. So, um, actually, was, I feel it was too short. Yeah. Yeah, it was too short. We could have done a week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it was, was really nice. cool. And yes, it, someone commented in Biarritz. It was in Biarritz. Uh, good eye. <laughs> um, and some people are asking about our Tanoa T-shirts. I don't know if you knew, but Kevin actually made a Tenoa t-shirt before we all had them. <laughs> <laughs> He's the OG of the yeah. t-shirt. <laughs> and, um, but that, um, for merch and stuff like that, I mean, I have a oh, yeah, man, Tenoa. I'm so saucy, actually. Ooh, I'm flexing a bit. <laughs> to show the logo, you didn't. <laughs> yeah. Mm. We should have, uh, I mean, community keep asking for products and maybe that will come sometime soon <laughs> I mean, they're not available yet a turn watch that's a good idea with time oh with time yeah you know, the more you the more you work the more you time you you, you gain you time, time like, yeah. For, <laughs> yeah that would be cool okay well thanks so much kevin everyone if there's any spanish speakers out there and want to join the community be sure to check out the the to know a Spanish community on Telegram, Instagram, and uh, Twitter. Yeah, thanks so much, Kevin. Yeah, and thank talk you. To you soon. Thank Bye. you, guys, and congratulations thank you. for the live. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Cheers. Bye. Bye. So one thing that we forgot to mention would be talking a little bit about caps. Um, our token has been doing really well since its launch, but not to mention that we've been listed on so many platforms. And just um, last week or a few weeks ago, we were listed on Just Mining. Yeah, was it like uh, last week actually? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was really cool to see. I mean, it just exploded um, <laughs> multiple times. So yeah. that was really cool. Um, but that's for um, ERC20 and BEP20 stacking. Um, and you can also buy caps on that platform as well. Um, but we we already have a few. Um, Kuku cool. Asher. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We love working with him. Like we love working with all the influencers that we have relations with. Yeah, and the advisors um, as well. Yeah, the yeah. advisors. Yeah. Yes, everyone. Um, Tano is really grateful for all the support that we have, community and company wise uh, or partnership wise. Um, but I think, uh, do you have any any other topics that you want to cover? 
before we uh you know i think we need to keep some topic for the next episode for the next episode yeah so okay. yeah i think that concludes uh all we have to talk about today okay and uh now we'll get into the exciting part oh. the caps giveaway <laughs> are you guys ready for this um oh we have we have a few questions actually maybe. should we do the question first maybe? yeah let's do that okay. so let's do you check. guys have any yeah here. no if you have any questions for us this is going to be a quick little ama uh, just go for it. Let's see. Is the data yes, the data for time capsules or the NF secret NFTs in general can only be decrypted by the owner. Therefore, for example, if it hasn't been set yet, and uh, if you create an NFT, you're the only one that can handle it and change the sending protocols if you need to. Once it is sent and the recipient receives it, they are the new owner, and then it's up to them to to edit it however they'd like. Um, is it? possible to claim caps in one go and it was a Korean market um I think so a Korean in regards to uh, in terms of exchange or community, community uh, mm. um, in, someone asked will Tano be able to decipher a capsule upon judicial or police request no uh, I don't believe so because it is decentralized um, we don't really, it's... Yeah, but it, yeah, this I is mean, kind of... I mean, don't use this to, you know, yeah, mon we, money laundering. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, not... we, maybe, uh, I mean, we could always have Nika as a special guest one time. Yeah, but this is not like, uh, yeah, this is not really what the, the CAPS is for. Uh, yes. As for the, the Korean market, uh, I just want to say that first, our plan is really the, the global market. So this is why we, the, our main channel are in English, the videos are in English, the, mm -hmm. the, the live stream. Uh, but that doesn't mean we will not work on uh, other market later on. So we're already working on Spanish, uh, Chinese and uh, Turkish. Turkish. But, uh, you know, uh, we are, of course, Asia is uh, one big, big target for us, uh, China, Japan and Japan. Korea. So why not? You know, uh, we are not close to that, and uh, and we also just started, so we we will get there. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, all in due time. And um, some people are asking. Yes, I'm American. Uh, thank you for thinking I'm not. Otherwise, <laughs> <laughs> and no, I mean like in oh, terms of Oh, you're really speaking. good. Your English accent <laughs> yeah. is perfect. I just your uh, grammar from time to time. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm French and American. But better in speaking English. <laughs> uh, regarding new exchange, uh, we are working with some AAA, but we are just it is again like uh, you know it's a long process and we need to clear like a lot of different conditions. So, but we have some interesting stuff We're in the in the things. pipe. Yeah. 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 We can't give that away, unfortunately, but... <laughs> we want you to, to speak French. No. <laughs> Maybe next... Okay, tune into our next episode if you want to hear ah, me no, no, speak no, French. Ah, no, 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 I have an idea. Okay. okay. Uh, if today on the English, on the Telegram channel, there is more than 200 newcomers, uh, she will speak French. Okay. Yeah, let's make it interesting. Right? That's true. Okay. Did you all hear that? <laughs> all right. Um, I think... Nope, we will get into the giveaway. Oh, someone said deal. All right, make it happen. We, we, um, let's get into the giveaway. So make sure you're paying attention here. We will be giving $25 of caps to a few selected winners. And all you have to do is complete uh, two tasks. So one is you have to go into our Telegram or Discord and vote for your favorite project that... Um, was presented today in the live. So one of the four, so either Alfie, Gluing, Tipple, or Crypto DJZ, whichever one that you thought was the most exciting for you, um, and kind of comment why. And then um, make sure to answer these two questions. And so these two questions are, who is Ternoa's founder and CEO? And what is uh, the community that Kevin is the manager of? So... I yeah, hope you we should have put the, this on the on the slide, but it's quite easy. First question: <laughs> Who is Tanoa Founders and CEO? Second: 
what in our community is Kevin the the local rep local community representative of? I mean. Yeah, like, and we'll we'll be posting this in the Telegram uh, chat. Maybe in the chat as well, like. Uh, oh yeah, I can. So don't answer here. Oh, yeah. actually. Answer in. Uh, answer in our Telegram, please, and hashtag. Okay, let me just write out the rules here. Answer the two questions and vote. All in. Okay. People are impatient to, to win the, the caps. I know. You guys have to win. Maybe, you should, sure. maybe you should copy paste the, the question, no? Yeah, I will. Yeah. That's a good idea. The telegram, the English the one. The English telegram. Yeah. I'll send the link right now so you guys. Don't have worry. It. You need. We need two hundred people <laughs> in the English telegram. Or else Don't not forget. Get any friends um, for you guys. Uh, yeah. So and make sure that you hashtag turn out TV so that we can find your your responses. We'll be checking, but just make sure. Um, and we'll be announcing the winners uh, tomorrow. So. Get on it. Make sure you answer these two questions. Spam the Chino English chat. <laughs> yeah, we'll we watching. want some people. We want to see some people. Or else, I will get all the caps for myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what the heck? I want to guess too. Which chat? Which chat? <laughs> okay. 70, 70, 30, you know, like. No, <laughs> 50, 50. <laughs> Man, you're so tough. Uh, alrighty. Well, um, I think that that's all for today's for our first well, live series. One hour live. I know. That's crazy. How did we do, guys? Did we do okay? <laughs> Was it entertaining enough? We'll, do we we'll have enough, like, uh, enough kind of stuff? Like, <laughs> enough, like, you know. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, actually, it was, it went so fast. Yeah, I was so yeah, surprised. No, it, was, it was fun. It was really fun. Yeah. Um, so, make sure that you guys are staying up to date with all the Chinoa news. I mean, we will keep you up to date with our new live series. Um, but also everything, you know, we post every day on, on Twitter at Chinoa underscore and also um, on Telegram, Discord and so on. We're all here for, for your guys' support and um, if you guys need anything. The hashtag is hashtag Chinoa TV. Oops. Um, great. Awesome. Well, we're excited to see you guys' answers. Um, and again, we'll be posting all this in the chats. And don't forget to vote. Don't forget to vote. We yeah, it's want to see who, yeah, which project will win the Turnal Grant. This is really important. So. Yeah. Um, so thank you very much, guys. Uh, yeah. You know, it was our first slide. There was, as planned, I want to say there was a few technical quirks. difficulties, <laughs> a few technical but we have worked that out. It will not happen again, hopefully. Uh, we'll I mean, we never out. know, but you know, like, <laughs> hopefully we learn, we learn our lessons. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I think it was quite good. Uh, so we are planning to have this. Uh, the next one will be in one month. The selected project by the community will be able to pitch in front of you, showing the dabs, explaining the, the business plan and everything. And uh, yeah, so yeah. this is it. Um, make sure if you want to test out our test net, go to our website and download our app. Um, download the wallet yep run nodes there's a marketplace <laughs> yeah you can launch your own nft marketplace i think that's what's so cool um but yeah thank you guys all for your support we really appreciate it and um and we're just we're pumped we're pumped for what's all to come what's already happened and what's to come it's it's going to be great this is just the beginning so and also uh yeah maybe we should have done that i forgot yeah uh, if you have any feedback about the format of the live stream, yeah. if you have any suggestion, any topic you want to be covered, uh, you can give us some feedback on Telegram. Feedback, yeah. but go to Telegram, the, <laughs> Sorry, the English one. Sorry, Kevin. <laughs> Sorry, Guillaume. Uh, so basically, like as we did for this one, the, the, the format is very simple. Uh, we talk about the, the news. Uh, we cover the news, the partnership, token, and so on. Then special the guest. Special guest. So for this one was uh, Fabian. Next one will be the the selected project, uh, and then we will have another interview from uh, Tanoati members. Mm -hmm. 
and that's it uh, on the next ones we are also planning to have other special guests from can be other project uh, like uh, influencers or you know yeah so we are open for these suggestions yeah good I think that's good um, yeah had fun yeah that was good that was fun yeah <laughs> hopefully it was fun for you guys as well yeah <laughs> Cool. Alrighty, well, okay. have a great night, everyone, or day, or wherever you are. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy the weekend. Yeah, happy weekend. Okay, bye. Bye. Bye.